Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make gold puffy dots and beautiful curvy lines using a cone method. For that, I'm going to make five different cones to see which blend can give us the best result after the dots are dry. So, before I start with the process, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let's talk about the paint. We need a thick or heavy body acrylic paint. For that, I'm taking four card metallic gold. I'm also taking deco art metallic gold, Liquitex gloss varnish, and Liquitex gloss heavy gel. Guys, when we need to thin a paint and don't wanna lose its shine at the same time, Gloss varnish is a perfect choice. And when we want to thicken our paint, gel does its job and adds shine in it. In the first sheet, I'm going to show you gloss varnish versus gloss heavy gel. I mix up the same four card metallic gold for both of the cones. Okay, these dot looks puffy and plumpy, but the curvy lines are not so good. Guys, I have some dried up dots to show you. Make your dots on a silicone sheet so that you can stick them on your stone using gold paint. This is what happened when I tried to make puffy dots directly on the side of my stone. Dot is falling down and looks really ugly. Now, let's see the same paint mixed up with gel. Hmm, I like these straight lines. I can also make some henna designs with this. I think it's cool. I can actually make some really tiny dots and paint is not spreading at all. I have a dried up paint that I want to show you. Paint is really strong and I can see that extra shine after the paint is dry. I think I'm going to try this cone on my next art stone. Okay, let's see if this can create some puffy dots. Oh no, this paint is really thick to create some puffy dots. I don't recommend this for puffy dots guys. Let's jump on to my third cone. I'm mixing DecoArt's Blended Gold, which has a thin consistency compared to folk art paint. So that's why I'm adding some gloss heavy gel in it. I already prepared my cone. I recommend a big packaging tape over a small tape to avoid any leaks. Right. let's check this out aha it's coming out really smooth compared to the other first two cones so guys just like the second cone 
I would love to use this for beautiful curvy lines, henna designs, but not for puffy dots. Because puffy dots will smush after the paint is dry. I will show you the dried up paint in a minute. Guys, I also wanted to test mixing up two different mediums in my folk art paint. I hope you learned something from my experiments. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you think any content is useful in your art journey. Due to the technical problem, I couldn't record this part, but here is the dried up end results after 10 hours. I'm happy with the deco art cone, and yes, I will use this for curvy lines, but not for puffy dots as I see some wrinkles in it. I'm not satisfied with folk art cone as I see so many bubbles in the puffy dots also in the curvy lines, I don't think I will try this cone in my art. At last, for my fifth and really important cone, I wanted to fill up my cone only with folk art metallic gold. I was hoping some really good results from it as it is a heavy body paint. It is definitely smooth and shiny but it spreads a little after it dries. It gives me a mediocre results and I will use this for random tiny dots. One more secret that I wanted to share. I like to top the puffy dots with two layers of paint using dotting tools before I stick it on my art stone. This way I make these dots even puffier. <laughs> 